Hi everyone, my name's Mad Fat Burgos. Welcome back to Cloudpunk. So we had our car stolen last time. So uh, we picked up this new fancy one. Uh, but we need to go and get it inspected for some reason. We still got our boosts and everything, so not all is lost. Uh, I chose the kind of wider looking, but it still looked a bit sporty, reminded of um, the kind of rally cars um, that were around or that my dad was interested in when he used to dra drive, when he used to race even. Oh, hold on. What's wrong? Camus controls are frozen. Being and the inspected. doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. What? Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch. Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus, now offline. Yeah, you too. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Hmm. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Good to see you're still moving around hey, now. Hey, I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? Yeah. I've taken a liking to you. No, you want me now, in your Ariano, pocket. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already. Yeah, he wanted us in his pocket. Come on, can we turn the radio on? Ignore me, corpse sec. Yeah, so... Corpse sec must be going after Cloudpunk delivery drivers. Must be what's going on, right? But now we're in Lomo's, po Lomo's pocket. That's what we got warned against by the, the vendor who used to work for him, right? I don't think we can get to this, can we? Oh yes, it's a night one. Look at our sweet new car, man. All right, Loma. Let's uh, talk to the hacker chick for a second. Oh, damn it. Thought she might give us some advice. But she warned us against working with this other hacker and just Lomo in general. The bounce is still going to give us grief. Hey, buddy. You brought me more juice? No, Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. 
Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. I've got more juice. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Oh, okay. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Oh, no. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. I've not bought any cool clothes or anything. All right, Lomo. What do you need from me? Rania, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rania. I can afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course. Yeah, unfortunately. I guess. I have a lot of names. Oh. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the Corpsec gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. Great. What percent are they? About 42.5%. What? Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. A clean slate is tempting, no? Yeah, and if I walk right. out of here? Oh, of course, I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle, scrap it for parts. You see, Corpsec are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Corpsec where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the dead corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloud Punk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Hey. All right, yeah. Still, the reason people like that only ever do you favors is uh, so that you're in their pocket, right? It's nice. There's good music in his nightclub, though. <laughs> At least. All right, so um, I might go to a mechanic and get a few upgrades for the for the car. All right, Narco. So we we can't find our old car based on the map, right?
Might be worth going and having a look. Maybe we have a little car chase, maybe. In our new ride. The Null Gate. 42% man. There's no way anyone should go in on a chance like that. <laughs> I used to play cards for a living. It's not something I recommend. I am nervous. Are you nervous? Yes. I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy, Rubrik, says the CorpSec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Camus, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you understand? No. It's fine. Let's just get through the Null Gate, then we'll see what happens. Let's hope this car doesn't get stolen. Alright then. Right. These souped up repulsors with ceramic coils have almost no drag for quicker ascents. Lovely. That is awesome. And lateral boosters with low latency. This should help us weave through traffic. Yes, Let's do it. And let's stick the yellow one. Pretty cool. Hang on, how much was the antenna? Oh, a lot. Now we've got a nice nippy hover. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, that hacker guy was pretty cutthroat. I don't know if he was an android or not. It's hard to tell, right, if someone's augmented. And the turning circle's still terrible. the null gate. Thank you. These are for Evelyn. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. <laughs> Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. Why would you choose to meet in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well... I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. Okay. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. Is this all you got? No contraband? No. Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? 
Look, miss, I just worked the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be up front and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. Josh. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, is he like stuck in? Yeah. Do you think the corpse man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. Okay, we need to go down, down, down. Oh, going underneath. Through the null gate. I hope I've not just like gone past some sort of point of no return. Without finishing Evelyn's quest. Oh, so this is like is this like the old city? I don't know. Oh. Really industrial. Now people live there. The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. This is like the Undercity. Fascinating. I hope I've not rushed to the end of the game here. No people knocking around. Bastille. Yeah, because there was so much for me to, to clear up in the city. I can't imagine this is the end of the game. We've got no idea what the back backstory of what's going on is yet, right? What's going on? What what's Corpse X doing with Cloudpunk yet? What's been happening to the drivers? All still a mystery. Camus, are you reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. Hmm. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This no. must have been a parking garage a long time ago before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. Hmm. Hello there. All right, a terminal. Let's see. 
Maybe I can just type in, give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. This Are you the AI. computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. <gasps> Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. We just Can I get out of this car park we just now? We cured it of a virus. I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Rania, listen. Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh, yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis, is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. Uh oh. The gate is open. What? Really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. Rania. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. How, how, how have you been so nonchalant? It said I am Cora, for God's sake, Rania. We've just cured, like a really dangerous AI of a virus and now it's unleashed. We're going to have to make a decision whether to free it now, right? I think that's what's being implied. Because that's Korra and Korra wants the destruction of humans from the sounds of it. Soon no humans. Jeez. That's so annoying that Rania was so nonchalant and flippant about that. You got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just some old computer terminal was acting really strange. It was Cora. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. One of the 12 AIs. Remember? I can't believe Ronnie was just like, no, oh, just give me a ticket, leave me alone. This is a silly computer, and then that's like the most dangerous AI that exists, I, I, I believe. Hey, Control. Hey, kid. Hey, Ronnie, are you there? I need to talk to you. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries, making waves, surviving. It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but... They really mean broken AI or the city algorithms or damn, even just fate. 
It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? I, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you mediocre. That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO, delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. Hmm. Delivery to the Spire. Right, what have we got in this area? Got stacks, clear water, how cow residential, chow chow, I'm not sure how to say it. I'm not sure whether we should go and sweep up these places for items or whether I should maybe do that in my own time, but they've got side characters there. Yeah, you know what, while we're here, let's uh, turn around and head to clear water and uh, see what we pick up there. Rather than just sticking with the main quest. This sounds like an important job, right? Should we get something to eat? We? Sure. Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me. But there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. <laughs> There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No, uh, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Okay, let's get something to eat after we just grab these items. The fish. We've had this, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we might have potentially unleashed a really dangerous AI that wants to destroy all humans. Mm. That's the kind of grey area, right? We don't know kind of who's running things, whether Cloudpunk's being run by a human, whether it's being run by an android, or it's being run by a computer AI. Sutodore. You there. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your swarthy skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? Yes. I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? We could talk on the way. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? I see your hover is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Oh, what? Alright, the purple icon. Do you know the story 
of the great dreaming. My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. Great it's dreaming. a child story, more of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes, folk stories, children's games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Erasera. I really have no idea what you're talking Eracera. about. Erasera. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. The Great Dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. Which goes? I think it was like... What will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something... I can't remember it very well. So I see. Alright, well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every snippet of knowledge I can glean from before the Erasera is helpful. The eye did not examine your people as closely as it did mine. What is the Erasera? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so... Erasera. Fused? So fractured. That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The Irasira. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things. What are they called? Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. My point is that the Erasera comes round, and every time he or she cleans the slate, the Erasera destroys all of our history, smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. You'd better hide, then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. I hear it in your voice. But this is a serious matter. Cora would judge you for that kind of attitude. Wait, what do you know about Cora? The Erasera is the ultimate enemy of the historian. And, as an extension, humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, Eventually, we will make one so grievous, it will mean the end of us all. Mm -hmm. But the Erasera is a hard foe to defeat. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes, in a moment. Yeah, let him talk. Let you him see, talk. the Erasera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. As long as the Erasera exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Erasera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time. And as such, it is inevitable. Worst of all, the more we directly confront Erasera, the stronger it becomes. Discussing the idea, as we are doing right now, only spreads it further. Well, maybe you shouldn't be talking about it with everyone who comes across your particular street corner. What you say has merit, but I believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form, which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. So is the era Sarah why no one can give me a straight answer about what Korra is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Korra? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. No, I believe Erasera is imminent, and speaking about Korra will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Do not fight a war on two fronts 
if you are a landlocked nation. Thanks. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. Or a taxi driver. Fascinating. The era Sarah, the end of all history and knowledge and memory and stuff. Paid for that. He didn't even give us our fuel. Hey. Um, we've been here before, right? Our mission's even here. Oh, this is where Cloudpunk HQ is. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. We need to get something to eat, though. Hey there, buddy. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the Rye. Oh, not this I guy. Some miso soup, Not please. Bad. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. I shan't. See you again soon. Can I ask about food again? Go Gosh. ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, Hot bread basted in walnut oil. Cherry pie. No way those are real cherries, though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone, too, if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite. But those glute bars are so good, I bet even mom would have <laughs> liked them. I'm having a great time, guys, I gotta say. The, the humor, the, the philosophizing, the, the mystery at the center of our job, it's all coming together quite nicely, you know? All the little side characters and the, the kind of exploration that we have to do. I'm having a really good time. Enter the Vinic. Vinculum Ascender. Jeez, what is that? Traffic in this sector is above safe limits. Please drive carefully. Um, there was a, an NPC around here somewhere. We need to loop all the way around though. Okay, let's go in there. Let's go and drop this one off. I said I wasn't going to be doing the main quest again, but the guy brought us all the way over here. Talking about the death of history. Death of memory. I guess that's that's just... What he's talking about is just a general apocalypse, right? I don't know. The, the way he made it sound... Did we go up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow! Hmm. Wasn't the spire the place people go to die, right? <laughs> Never mind. I don't like riding on the highways. I'm just going to crash into everyone. I'd rather just go at a slower speed above everything. I have to 
to worry about other cars and so. Avalon Heights. Speaking of heights, let's get up a bit higher. So we've been to Avalon Heights before. Doesn't look like it. We need to park here. Okay, let's go and uh, sweep up a few items first. Talk to this NPC. Nice. I wonder how many times Evelyn's going to ask us to do this. Maybe three times. Nope, oh, turn around. Yeah, Cora. The the way they drawn her her face in the in the little dialogue box looked so awesome, with the kind of data like pouring out of her head. Nice. I'm really intri intrigued by Evelyn. I don't know why. I don't know why, but she, she had just such a, a ring of melancholy about her that I really liked. This place is awesome, isn't it? I wish it was all... I wish there was no loading screens between each area. Um, I wish they would have been able to pull that off somehow, but... You know, I don't get why they had to have little segmented areas, but fair enough. Oh, is, is, that, is that the same engineer from the first episode? Hey, delivery driver. Hey. Hey, engineer. <laughs> Did you see any blinking street signs? Uh, yeah. Thankfully, no. Oh. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. Something <laughs> visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You yes. can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. Last week, I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. What? It's under the ocean now. That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah. I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. got an achievement for that. Not sure I'm cut out for this. Ah, you can do it, Mr. Engineer. Okay. Let's see what this is like with the Spire. I wish we could save it, man, because... Wait, does this game have real, like, ray tracing in it? It's like the reflections in these puddles. Maybe it does. Because, like, I saw a really accurate reflection there.
Shamus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say... This is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but... If Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident... Well... I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata, or an android... Or even a person. If they cost me my family... I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? <laughs> Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I... I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Interesting. Of the clouds. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Sorry it's a bit of a cliffhanger, but I think that will have given us a save point, so... I hope you enjoyed this episode guys, it's plenty of fascinating discussion, let me know your thoughts below. We've got a bit of uh, a versus situation, right, because Cora told us about making a decision, now Control's told us about why he hates Cora, about his family dying in an accident and it might maybe be in Cora's fault. So maybe we have to choose between revenge and liberation. So we'll see how it goes, hope you enjoyed it, leave me a like if you did. Just remember everybody, you never trust an uncrate. I'll see you next time.